Tim. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. It's time to call all the trumpet players to this hangout. If you are watching this and you're a horn player, you, I want you to share this right now with all your trumpet player friends. Um, tonight is a very special hangout. We've invited all our trumpet player friends to join us. And the first one is just here. Chris Martin. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Good. Your underpants have disappeared. They were hanging above you uh, a few minutes ago. Oh, well, they're being cleaned, fortunately. I hope you're wearing them. <laughs> I, I, that's no, that's the thing now. I am wearing pants, yes. I'm, wearing pants. Uh, that's, that's, I'm very glad to hear it. Welcome to the Horn Hangouts. It's great to be back. It's, great it's really here. great to see you and welcome to all of you. We've just gone live here on the website where I've got all your questions from here and live on Facebook as well. So we're hoping that everybody's sharing this link so that everybody can find out who we've invited to tonight's Horn Hangout. Are you excited, Chris? I am excited. I'm going to put this away because we're just... No, no, no. Leave it. <laughs> okay, okay. We want, we, we want, this is the best I could do. This is the closest <laughs> I could get. <laughs> Chris, where are you exactly, apart from in a cleaning uh, cupboard? Uh, I am, yeah, I'm in the closet. I'm in a closet. Uh, <laughs> I'm are you weird. coming out of the closet today on the hangout? Uh, no. I, it's, it's a little warm in here, so maybe I might come out of the closet today. Oh, uh, don't say that too loud. <laughs> um, we, we were in New York City until last Friday. Um, but we left uh, to come to Kentucky now, near some yeah. near, near some family. So, so it's a little well, bit it's a little bit calmer here. It's a little bit more green and a little less a um, little less scary. So, yeah, it's New York's a very scary place. So I know we're all having a lot of fun tonight. We're also happy to see each other. We want to inspire as many people as we can who are feeling down in isolation and not wanting to practice. But of course, you know, we don't forget that there's terrible things going on in the world right now. But what can we do? We can just keep practicing and keep making music. You guys made some great videos in New York Philharmonic. We did, yeah. We um, we had a great time doing that. You know, believe it or not, one guy put that whole thing together. One orchestra oh. member. He wow. spent uh, He spent a long time, a lot of hours, over a course of a week. But he did a beautiful job. That and you're talking that, about the bolero, right? Yes, the bolero. Yeah, it's One great. Guy. If anyone's got a link to that, please put it up in the chat so that everyone can see it because it's uh, it's fantastic. And you've the New York Phil's also been doing some great Meet the Musicians videos that I've liked mm -hmm. as well. We have absolutely yeah, and I've got um, we I've got uh, our brass quintets working on a, a tune uh, to put together for New York for the city and for the for the workers and for the orchestra. And uh, my guys at Juilliard, my students at Juilliard have put together a fun quartet too. I'll Maybe I'll put that up in the chat as well. Oh yeah, please do. That would be great. I'd love to see that. I think that's one of the best things, if there's anything good, there's nothing good about Corona, but the best thing about the time right now is, is it's bringing people together in a way that you'd never expect. I mean, look at today, the, the audience don't know what's about to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's, I'm not even sure. <laughs> no, I know. We've just been testing. And I tell you, I got completely, I don't know, flustered because and also a little fangirly as well, because, oh, my goodness, I'm just wondering if everyone's <laughs> going to manage to actually get back into the chat. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Well, I'm, I'm feeling fangirly myself, so I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm just disappointed all your washing has disappeared. I thought that was quite cool. <laughs> well, I've got, so. I've got, I've got <laughs> I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Chris, <laughs> look down on your right. Yeah. Can you see something? Can you see the next guest about to arrive? Yeah. Uh, I, there he oh, is. Oh, Hawken Hardenberger, everybody. Hi. <laughs> it's so great to see you. Where are you, Hawken? I'm at home. What the hell? You just went off in my pocket. I have to close this section. <laughs> in my orchestra, in, in, in my orchestra, if the phone rings, you have to pay a fine. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have to. <laughs> wow. So what, did you, what did you bring? What did you bring to drink? Oh, you told me to bring uh, a drink, so I have a glass I'm of coffee. Very good, very good. Chris, what have you got? Uh, so far, just coffee. It's a little early. Just now. coffee. We've got people watching literally from all over the world, and they're drinking, they're drinking rum, they're drinking raspberry juice, they're drinking coffee, they're drinking tea, they're drinking all sorts of things. So um, <laughs> this, when, when you go back and read the chat, oh my goodness, you can see where everyone's watching from. The next guest is about to arrive. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce? Drum roll. 
You can see who it is, can't you, in your screen? This is really hilarious. Oh, Hawkins, le Hawkins leaving the party already. Sergey, привет, welcome. Hello. Sergei, well done. You? Well done for getting online. You've met Chris before? How are you? Hi. I, I don't think we've... You. Good to see you. To I don't see. think we've met either, but I missed no. you just in New York a while back. So it's great to meet you now. Great to, to see you. And, and, oh, whose cat was that? Oh, my cat's here. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. Show us. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> oh, we like that's a big cat. Oh, my goodness. He's a guy. Yeah, he's and almost Se 17. Oh, my goodness. And Sergey and Hokan, you know each other? No, um, I've never met. It's a, it's a don't be shy to... don't be shy just uh, <laughs> you really never yeah, met that's incredible that's really yeah. amazing oh and the next don't, don't Sergei, where... Scandinavia. where are you Sergei, right now i'm in paris near paris is everything okay you need a piece of paper to go outside right yes that's correct but you're go okay outside. your family's okay i have some paper Yep, some <laughs> toilet paper. That's what everybody else wants, right? Uh, and now it's not a problem anymore. There is enough in the shops. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. The, I see in the bottom of the screen we have our next guest about to arrive, but I, ca I can't see, I can only see a picture of him. Gabor? If, ah, there he is. Gabor, guten Abend. Hey, <laughs> guten Abend. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gabor, um, we speak English today. It's no problem. I still yeah. not everything, but <laughs> I tried. Gabor, Gabor told me told me he would just he would listen, and then when I had to translate, he'd he'd put up his he put up his hand. Wenn ich übersetzen muss, dann sag Bescheid. So, Gabor, do you know Sergey and Hokan and Chris? Yeah, du kennst doch alle. Yeah. Uh, ah. Hey. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hey. 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 Wayne What's has up? joined. Wayne has joined the party. Oh hold my on. goodness! Hold on, I gotta, my, I gotta get my mask on. Hang on. <laughs> don't, don't ask me why I have that. <laughs> why do you have that, Wayne? <laughs> a, pilot, a pilot friend of mine. I always thought those would make a good plunger mute. And a pilot friend of mine uh, told me a place where you can get them, you know. So I went online and I got one. And I use it. Uh, I'll use it in concert as a sh as shtick. I talk about how I can't travel with a plunger mute because when they see it in my luggage, TSA takes my luggage apart because they think I'm a like a plumber terror <laughs> terrorist or something, you know. And uh, and so I, I make a joke about how I stole this from the plane. And you know, how's everybody doing? Good. Oh my God. All my all my heroes are here, man. I can't even believe it. Oh my God. Have you met Have you met everyone before, or is this first time? I, I haven't met everybody. I don't think I met Sergey, and I met Chris. Long Martin. time ago. And Hunkin, <laughs> I met your teacher at Yamaha. Yeah. Uh, he was there with Bob Malone, and so I, I got to meet Bo, yeah. and uh, and I and we and I don't think we've met. So, Gabo, you've not, you two have never met either. I don't think so. We haven't met, have we? No, I think no. Well, I'm glad we're meeting now. This is awesome, man. I'm glad we're <laughs> meeting now. I mean, I I, I, I'd met, I know everybody except for, well, Sergey, I hadn't met today, uh, before today, and you neither way. And we have a lady, hey! another lady. Hey! Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Look at this. Tina. <laughs> Hello. You were, Welcome, you were just Tina. you were just with my friend in Minneapolis, my friend Marisa Benedict. Yes, was, I know. Yeah. She's my dear friend and uh, and great trumpet player, as you found out. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No, it's a lot of fun. Welcome. And all of you guys here. This is like uh, <laughs> and, and, and Tina. Tina, you're literally in your wardrobe, in your in your clothes cupboard, right? And you practice in there. Man, no, you practice practice in there. I have some of those same dresses in my closet too. You do? Nice. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I practice in my walk-in closet. That's my practice room. <laughs> and Tina, funny. right next to you is Phil Cobb. And I'm very yes. proud that Phil may has made it onto the hangout. We were worried that it wouldn't work. Hi, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hello. Hi, Phil. Hey, Phil. How you doing? Hi. Hey, Phil. Arturo Sandoval down the bottom. <laughs> Arturo. Hello. How are you? What are you doing, guys? Arturo, what's up, brother? <laughs> this is this so is... crazy. Hey, what's up? <laughs> 
What's up? <laughs> Matthias Herfs just joined the party. Hello, Matthias. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Hey, hey. Matthias, how are you? I, I can't see Matthias. I cannot see him. Why? Um, because, Arturo, you're on your iPad. You need to swipe left and right, and then you can see everybody. Come on, Arturo, get it together. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last moment we all have to talk now that Arturo's here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Arturo, it's, it's great to see you. Why can't you see? Can you see us? Yeah, yeah. And we, look, Great. And, and we look good, man. We yeah. we are looking really good. Arturo, Hold Arturo. On, who is... check... <laughs> Chris, Chris, I thought you'd enjoy the mug. Hey, very nice. Oh, wow. What is yeah. it? It's an Arsenal it's mug. A, a, Arsenal mug, yeah, very nice. Uh, why you know, Are you just... an Arsenal fan, Chris? Yeah, I am. I don't know why sometimes, but I am. And uh, we, we, you know, just as we got things going again, finished, yeah, I know, right? Just as we got things going again, they they got shut down. Yeah. <laughs> um, now I can see, I can see. Oh, oh the cigars coming out! The cigars coming! Uh, <laughs> I can feel the smoke. I don't, I don't smoke cigars. I, I'll shoot up or something. Here, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Phil! <laughs> Phil Smith has joined the party. What an honor. Yo. Hi, Phil. Hello. Hello. Hey, why, Phil. Hello. Hey, 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 Sarah, why I don't <laughs> see everyone? What, why? <laughs> oh. Because, are you watching on your iPad, Arturo? I'm watching in my big screen in the computer. Yeah, but it, you're you are you are watching from your from your iPad, right? Now shift both, both. Yeah, now shift left and right on your <laughs> iPad. Oh yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. You can yeah, see yeah, they yeah, can yeah. be taught. There you go. Oh my lord! <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I got everyone now. Nice <laughs> okay, meet. Okay, okay, okay. Me, hey. everybody. Arturo, who wow. do you not know here? Oh, Sa Sarah, Sarah, yeah, do see. you have do, do you have to be you have to be everybody already? Um, most people are here. I see a, I see a window for for Thomas, but he oh, hasn't my. appeared yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the first thing I would love to say is uh, congratulations, Sarah. Congratulations from yeah. the bottom of my heart because you are the only person who could do such a thing to put sort of a, a, a bunch of mother jumper in the same screen at the same time <laughs> from different part of the world only you you are, you are a rock star you are a rock star, star. thank you thank you Arturo. thank you <laughs> oh you know you know that you know that's from the bottom of my heart your mother jumping heart Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it so much. I'm I'm very I'm overwhelmed that you've all come to the party. I mean, it's really well. It's 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 we want to. The, the idea tonight is um, so many students and, and professionals and amateurs are watching from all over the world who are finding it a little bit difficult to be inspired and actually to practice alone when you're in isolation is actually quite hard. Um, and, and what we've done with the horn hangouts is that, that we've been trying to inspire the horn players and we got a whole bunch of us together last week and people loved it. So I just thought, why not ask my my, my trumpet heroes to join in tonight as well? So I'm so honored that you that you all came. You <laughs> yeah. This is this is amazing. Yeah, I'm honored to be in such a company with all of you guys. So. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, very cool. Yeah. Phil, Phil Smith, where are you? I'm in Athens, Georgia. Down at the, where the university. I never is. come back to Georgia. I never mm. come back. Mm. You're looking good, Phil. <laughs> You're looking yeah, good. Phil, You've just been. You? You're teaching there, right? Is everyone safe over there within Georgia? Yeah, we're teaching and we're doing the uh, Skype lessons and FaceTime lessons. I don't like that. I'd prefer a room and a person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, if yes. we, but, but for something like this, it's great, right? <laughs> this is fine. Yeah. But uh, once once you start playing, everything sounds the same and it all gets jumbled. And it's, uh, chaos. Yeah. yeah, but you could. Yeah. I know it's hard to say to say, well, we need to improve on your sound. Are you guys all doing uh, uh, online teaching right now? Yeah. Yes. A lot of it. Yeah. No. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry because <laughs> I've been I've been saying for years that teaching over the phone 
it's no fair because you know we're talking about sound quality of sound and everything and articulation all those kind of things and then i i I cannot come back now and say, okay, now because I need a little breath, <laughs> I, I will do it now. And, and you know, that, it's okay. And I, I prefer to hear the person uh, close to my ear, you know, that, to be honest. Uh, and uh, that's the only thing I could uh, judge or, or, or recommend something. Because over the phone, it, it, what you hear is the distorted thing, you know, it's something that is not the real sound that you're producing. But yeah. it's okay. It's a, it, it, you know, something is, is better than nothing. It, it, if everybody's agreed to do it, I have no objection. I, I, that's, that's my personal problem. I have to deal with that. Yeah, and by the way, they, can, they, cancel, can, they cancel all our gigs for a while, and then I don't know how I'm going to pay the bills, you know. In my, in my uh, situation where you're working at a school, the school says, this is what you're doing, and you go, okay, that's what we're doing. Of course, you have to do what you got to do. Go with the flow. You can at least exchange information there. Obviously, Arturo is absolutely correct. It sounds awful. You know, you can't really tell what they sound like. But maybe you can, you know, at least there's the opportunity to share some information and they ask good questions and maybe you can give them. Absolutely. No, no, absolutely. Thing to run absolutely. with, you know. I think with absolutely. students, I think the other part of it is just, I mean, all the students, all the faculty were all blown away by what's happened. And part of it is just an encouragement, getting on and seeing people face to face or screen to screen, and just saying, "Hey, how you doing?" And uh, you know, hang in there, keep going. Let's play. Let's make some music. They need that stimulation too. I, I, my wife is teaching at four universities, and uh, so she's teaching here all day, every day. And the people, even her misfit students who weren't engaged, are so bored and depressed that they're. This is a, is great for them now because now they have to get engaged and they. It's their only interaction with their friends, right. so it's it's a uh, it's it's taken a few of her students that weren't doing so well, and all of a sudden they're doing better now. So there's a, maybe a plus side to some of this, even though I miss you know being around my colleagues and I miss Arturo. Arturo lives, you know, a five minute drive from me here, but we never see each other, you know. And now we're seeing each other here, and you know. Oh my goodness! Tell me about it. <laughs> hey, say gay, gay, say gay. What you drinking there? Vodka? Uh, jasmine tea. Jasmine oh. tea. Oh, oh. look! Don't okay, make me feel guilty. <laughs> I can tell you, it's a very old uh, Soviet mug, and here in Russian it says, "Happy first of May." Oh, okay. Nazdarovia. 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 I need a drink. <laughs> you do. Oh, I told you to bring one. I got it. I'm, I'm, coming, I got I'm coming right back. I'll be back. Okay, you go get it. Okay, espresso. please Don't come talk back. Don't talk about me while I'm gone. Okay. Got, hey, everybody, did you hear the story about Wayne? <laughs> Hawken, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a little bit of red wine. It's that time. Good for you. <laughs> and Good you know, for I was you. thinking about that. I was thinking about the students. Uh, that it's. It's. Uh, it's also the limited time they have. It's sometimes good because they. They will think about what they want to talk about and formulate their thoughts. So actually, the the, the limited little lesson can sometimes be beneficial. Mm. I find that good. It is. I think that's true. We have to find the positive things. Yeah, I think in an hour or less with my students these days, it's about forty minutes of talking, of conversation and questions and answers and and thinking about new ideas. The ch they challenge me more in a way they never did. Uh, in person, I think they feel a, a bit more freedom and uh, uh, confidence to ask more questions, mm. which is great. Matthias, Matthias, yeah. du bist ganz un. Good. Hi, Matthias. <laughs> I'm glad you got it set up. Thank you for joining us. Matthias is professor in, in Hamburg um, and, and also the, the lead trumpet of German brass, as you guys know. Have, have you all seen his orchestral excerpts video? <laughs> I have not. He's he's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> and, but, bravo, Matthias. Matthias. <laughs> the way to practice this uh, with the students uh, come all excerpts together. It's uh, you need not so much time for this. So play together. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way. <laughs> it's a good way. It's a good way. Uh, Alex, um, are good. Alex, they're good. good. <laughs> Hey, Matthias, you're not going to be using that fake accent all day, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Matthias, you know, don't listen to them. They're being mean. They're being mean. Matthias, tell us, tell us how you are. 
<laughs> okay, I promised. I promised the trumpet, uh, the trumpet community, that I would ask at least a few trumpet questions before this dis- deteriorates into a, a oh, party. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> don't don't switch off. Don't switch off, Matthias. Let's, let's, what, let's what's talk about, let, let's talk about Corona. <laughs> but I Corona mean the beer, cigars? no, the only one. No, no, the, okay. the beer. The Corona beer. beer. Corona beer. Corona <laughs> beer. Yeah. But don't they don't they make c- Corona cigars as well? A beer. Look, no. Matthias has. Is that? But that's not. That's not Corona beer, is it, Matthias? What well, sort of beer is, is that? This is the best. That's what I smoke. Arturo Fuente. Oh. Dominican. <laughs> that's the best. The very best. God, let us let us smell it. Oh yeah, it's speci- especially in the morning after the espresso coffee. This is the glory, <laughs> and it's good for your breathing too. You it's it, very Wayne. good for you. Can you smell it? Can you smell I it? I can from smell your house, it from Wayne? here. Close your window, Arturo. I can smell it from here. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, Arturo, can you yes, see this sir. picture? This picture behind me. Oh man, yeah, with with with, with Jack. Oh yeah, yeah, man. That's that's beautiful, Wayne. You oh man, this? that's oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, we jive, Wait, man. Wait, tip it a bit. We can't. It's it's tip it a bit. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, no, because it's a, oh, the, the glare from the. It, 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 was yeah. after, it was after Jack Sheldon had his stroke. Uh, we had yeah. a, he just passed away, as you know. But we had yeah. a. Uh, I was. I ended up being a pole bearer at his funeral, and I also. When we were walking to the gravesite, his wife said, did you bring your trumpet? And I'm going, well, I'm holding the casket in one hand. I obviously don't have a trumpet, you know? And uh, she said, well, I need somebody to play taps. And so she said right after the prayer, the prayer had begun and she handed me Jack's trumpet case. I opened the case and I put his mouthpiece in and I blew in it to make sure the valves were in right. And I had to play right then. And it's the best taps I've ever played because I didn't have time to get nervous, you know, wow. on his his horn and mouthpiece. So anyway, I, I knew I, I was wondering if Arturo could see this, because it's that, quite a... That, that meeting was organized what, that, by Juan Raisi. Yeah, exactly. That? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was Juan idea. Yeah. That was Juan idea, you know. Yeah, an- you, another Juan hero. is one of the beautiful, uh, one of the beautiful angels we got on heaven, you know, watching oh, yeah. us all. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, are you recording this? Recording? I am recording this. This is Tim. Okay. Tim is Tim is recording it. We'll all be able to oh, see good. it later. Oh, what what you guys have got to look at later is the chat, the live chat that's going on. Thank you for everything you're writing. Everyone will get to see it. Um, the trumpet world and the horn world, they're going crazy. They are literally going crazy. It's it's going out live. On, Gail Williams is watching. Hi, Gail. Oh, wow. Nice oh, to see you. Oh, great. And um, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> and someone said, yeah, Winton was invited, but Winton had has something going on on Instagram. Instagram right now so he knows this he wanted to come over to this but he'd already been planned on Instagram but he was invited so so don't worry he might he might pop in you never know um, Winton who? Yeah. <laughs> Winton Kelly? Wow. Winton <laughs> Kelly no that's, that's Tim Kelly. <laughs> Churchill, Churchill. Winton so okay right I'm gonna I'm gonna ask some trumpet nerd questions okay please forgive me but I really want to because everyone is um is oh um, Ethan says he loves the Scott Bake book, book that Wayne has in the background. Oh, Scott uh, Belk. Yeah. Belk. It's, Sorry, it's, Belk's my eyes. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's modern uh, uh, progressive, progressive lip flexibilities. And they're kind of wild. Uh, they're basic lip flexibilities, except you, you're you changing the length of the horn a lot. You're using different valves per beat. And uh, they're real wild sounding, you know, nutty, nutty things. I have that. I don't have it open. I just like the way it looks. I was, I was just going to say, <laughs> is it just there for decoration or do you actually do those exercises? Well, I do them a little uh, bit, but that, but the one on this side is the one I'm looking at more, the Charlier number 14. Is now, why is that? Because my third finger sucks. <laughs> and <that's, laughs> and, and everybody in this room knows that, <laughs> that etude right there. <laughs> Hawken Hawken has a project with with exactly these etudes. Tell us, Hawken. Well, I was thinking of of what to do in all this, and and I thought I would challenge this virus, you know, and week by week. And 
and record one episode a week and put out there. So I, I really hope that I win over the virus before the end of the book because I don't know how to get very well. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, and they, I think they're really good etches because they're so there's such great music. In them. So yeah, you know, they're beautiful I, to I, listen to. Yeah. I envy uh, all the pianists and, and violinists. They have Bach. They can play all day long. You know, really fulfilling music. And and we we have. I think Charlie is one of the closest things we have where, where we can really have, find great music. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Hey, hey Hagen, Hagen, are you are you dyeing your hair, Sonsi? Because I remember you used to have a black hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's been surfing and he's been in the sun a lot and stuff. So you know. And I met you. You were you were a little kid. Who was no. Thibault there in Paris? Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh yeah, my I don't goodness! I remember the Paris meeting, but I remember I remember playing in London, and then you were sitting in first row. You know that was a nice thing to do. I went out to play recital. And <laughs> but I remember so, when I Pierre. Remember <laughs> when Pierre invited me to to his classroom in a Paris yeah. conservatory, and and you were there that day, okay? Yeah, I remember like, that. Okay. You, you you were a little boy. <laughs> you were a little boy. That was Dark long hair. Ago, long. It suits you, Hokan. It suits you. I like your hair. It suits you. It suits you. You look you. very distinguished. Yeah. And actually, <laughs> in, in Sweden is practically the only place where the hairdressers aren't closed because here everyone's getting longer and longer hair and, and soon everyone's going to know our real hair color. That's the problem. That's the real problem <laughs> because because all, all the hairdressers are shut. Yeah. I was going to say, I think Just Hogan has the best know. hair on the screen, actually. <laughs> I use it shoe polish. Shoe, shoe polish. To, uh, shoe cover, polish. To cover <laughs> all my wire. <laughs> I was going to say, so, only Arturo could get away with saying that to Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, oh, Phil Cobb down the bottom here. Phil, when I asked you to do this, you said, yeah, all right, but only if I don't have to play the trumpet. But, yeah. <laughs> But actually, someone's just asked you a question, and it's so many questions ago that I've got to, I've got to scroll. But can I ask you a question from one of the online audience? Um, Jasmine yeah. asks, "What do you do to work on practice efficiency and, and ease in, on playing in playing on trumpet in relation to the cornet? How do you how do you manage both?" Uh, uh, see, this is why I don't like doing these kinds of things. Matias, um, Matias, <laughs> Tia is the right guy to answer that. I agree. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, I've, I've answered this question a few times. I, I try not to think about it too much, the difference between the cornet and the trumpet. Yeah. I think that there, there are subtle differences, but I don't think it's too healthy to think too much about it, if I'm honest, yeah. um, which is what I try and do, which is probably why I can't answer the question. <laughs> you did answer the question very well in our horn hangout. So if anybody wants hey. to know what Phil thinks, go and watch his horn hangout. What about the other Phil? Yeah, I agree. Uh, you, you do it. I mean, I grew up playing the cornet. I didn't play a trumpet until I was probably in high school. And uh, then going to Juilliard, I had a teacher, uh, Ed Troidel, who really turned me away from a cornet concept or sound, the trumpet, but but it still is in your mind, right? So when you're playing a cornet, you, you, you drift back to that's the way it should sound. And when you play a trumpet, you drift back to that's the way it should sound. And your scope is just big. You just do it. Don't think about yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, according to, to Herbert L. Clark, trumpet was a bastard instrument. The only cornet is a fair and the right instrument. That's what he said. Well, I would agree Man. with that, but I couldn't make a living. <laughs> That's it, it's in the letter he sent to Bench many yeah. years ago. That's a famous letter. I, lo I love all these stories. Tina, I've got a question for, for you. Okay. Yeah. From Shanhui Sun. Um, how do you manage to practice your do your daily practice routine? Could you be a little specific? Your secret is to play in your with all your dresses, right? <laughs> Well, right now when I'm at home, first of all, my husband just gave me this. Oh, Whoa. no! <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the right corona. No, but uh, yeah, yeah. No, when I'm at home, so right now, of course, it's very strange, uh, I'm sure for a lot of us uh, to just be at home. 
instead of traveling around to play. Uh, it's quite nice though as well, but not not when you have to. It's, it's okay when you choose to. So now it's a bit strange. But when I practice at home, I do it here in my in our walking closet. I mean, our apartment is also quite small. So if my, you know, my husband is allowed to not hear me all the time, then I just lock myself into the walking closet and I play. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very nice because it's it's quite you know then the, the sound gets really i don't i i can't hide behind anything yeah, yeah, it's very naked yeah. don't don't get, don't come out of the closet please <laughs> chris, chris talking about coming out of the closet chris you were you were saying you might come out of the closet today but i i not literally oh, your oh, wife oh, is watching oh, yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know i so our apartment in New York is quite small as well, and I practice in a like a like a sound isolation booth, like for singers, and it's about the size of a, like an old phone booth, and I find the same. You could there's nowhere to hide any anything any imper any imperfection any uh, must in the sound is you hear everything. So something I and also with my it's too. yeah yeah go ahead. yeah and also it's nice if it's in that you know I have neighbors and. They haven't said anything. They're very nice, <laughs> but it's also nice to be able to play really loud without mm -hmm. it being so loud. You know, then I can mm -hmm. I don't feel because sometimes you feel a bit like this, you know, especially yeah. practicing in hotel rooms and stuff like that. Then you feel mm -hmm. very about everyone around you. But then here I can just play as loud as I want into all my dresses and stuff. And then, yeah, <laughs> so that's quite nice. We should just not practice and smoke cigars like Arturo. <laughs> Sergey, Sergey, where are you now? I'm uh, near Paris. I'm in France, at home. La France, oh, c'est la vie, mon chéri. Oui, oui. <laughs> Sergey, because Sergey, people keep are asking that people are dying to know all these things. I'm going to have to do individual hangouts with you all to get the right answers. We're not going to be able to answer everything here. It's just so great to see all of you together. Um, what 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 is your practice routine on a performance day compared to a concert day? Uh, is it a question for me? Yes, for you. Uh, I warm up a little longer, which is still not long at all. And I try to avoid rehearsals so that I can save all my energy for the concert. And then um, also I check some risky spots uh, in the uh, well in the pieces that I'm going to perform. Yeah. Just to feel a little more calm. And then I will just wait till the concert is over. <laughs> and then just so finally be... get my glass of wine. <laughs> Yeah. No jasmine, no jasmine tea, huh? <laughs> do you still get nervous? I do. When I was a kid, I wasn't really. And uh, the last uh, maybe eight years or so, it started to happen. And um, my way is just to focus as much as I can on the music when I'm on stage. Yeah, no, no meditation or anything beforehand. I don't know how to do that. Oh. <laughs> My meditation goes like this, so and then to see see if the time's I, up. <laughs> I love I love your hair, it's gay, beautiful. <laughs> Towards the end to... of uh, of this uh, period, maybe I can I can do some. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 man, no man bun, no man bun, <laughs> no man bun. Yeah, Gabor, I saw Gabor today, and Gabor's getting getting a beard. I never, I, you know, you're growing a beard. I have never, it's new for you, no? I have long time free. Yeah. So no concert. <laughs> so what are you doing? Was machst du? I teach. I teach also in the <clears throat> with the internet with Zoom, with FaceTime, with everything. And I try my give my best for the students. This is a difficult time for for everyone. So <clears throat> I teach three afternoons every week. We are together with the students. And I think it's one thing is very important for the students he have to do a recording and he have to do a recording and send me and these recordings time 
it's a very difficult and very important time for the students because sometimes if you have the if the lessons in person we give the tips very fast and it is very important but now i give the tips uh, in internet or i write a mail or a message and i think for some students is very very important to recording and i think it is a bad time now uh, but we we can do that positive <laughs> Yes. And I, I try to do positive. I, I practice new solo pieces. Maybe I, I hope I can play this piece <laughs> in the future. <laughs> yeah. I, I practice. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to keep up the motivation. Matthias, you've always been a big practicer. I know, we've known each other many years. You are a big, you've got a great house and you can play as loud as you want and your studio is right on the top. Yeah, yeah, we have here in Hamburg a very good situation because now it's very warm. It's like summer, uh, uh, 25 degrees. So, uh, and most of us, they have the problem to practice, to find a room. And uh, I, I told my students, go outside in, in the park or in the wood uh, to practice there. Or if it's raining, go in the park garage. Yeah, it's a fantastic acoustic. So uh, <laughs> perhaps it's a good idea not uh, stay all, all the time in your small room, go outside and um, your idea gobble with the recording. It's fantastic because um, I think it's a good idea to uh, to try to have one good version on, on tape. It's uh, a lot of practicing before and uh, sometimes in the lessons we play uh, just and with a lot of mistakes, but if you want to have a, a clean version, you have to practice a lot uh, before. So it's a good idea, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Maybe. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I, I try, I try to, to play every every day some excepts I recorded for the students. It is not so simple. So yeah, Matthias, <laughs> Matthias plays, also, Matthias also plays them all me. together. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias, Matthias just puts them all together. You can do that. Then you have them all in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and there's a good question uh, Lampros has asked, maybe, I don't know, maybe Chris, you can answer this one, or maybe you can all chip in on this. They want to know, is it good to practice with mutes? Is it good to practice with the practice mutes? I mean, we had this discussion with the horns and it's, you know, it's sort of like, it's not so great for our embouchures. It sort of flattens them rather than helps it. But Chris, what would you say? Yeah, I'd say, uh, no, it's, uh, I mean, it's better than maybe zero. It's better than nothing. But not much better than nothing to me. I think it's better to, I think it's better to play into some pillows or play into a blanket or dresses. Or dresses, dresses. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think it's really damaging. Maybe mouthpiece practice, lead pipe buzzing is better than the mute. I think. I mean, yeah. it's okay to do it if it's if it's like just before a performance. I do it if I have to keep, you know, if I should stay warm if because I can't play just before, you know, stuff like that. But that's just for not for practicing you know and if i have to like do a bit of this in the evening when no one uh, at a hotel or mid midnight you know then i have to do something but proper practicing yeah, yeah, yeah. You, would you all agree on that phil smith what do you uh -huh. what do you think phil and phil yeah. i mean if like, some of you some of the students may have seen the video that uh joel lefty and i did on tours when i would practice into the pillow cave and uh, um, we made we made fun of that. We had a good time making that. You know, that is actually true. I would build a cave out of pillows because I'd rather play into there. Yeah, than... totally. Oh, the pillow cave. Yeah, we know the yeah. pillow cave. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, right now, it's still, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it sounds like someone's not feeling well. <laughs> Arturo, what are you doing? Show us. Warming up. Yeah, warming show up. us what you're warming Show us. No, this that's, is, this is the... Want. This is the thing that saved my butt because you know I, I, I used to practice a lot when I was younger, but now uh, this is what I use. 
just to keep my fingers uh, alive and just blow into the mouthpiece here and, um, and I see the horn on a stage. <laughs> I think yeah. that it's a, I think playing in a mute, you know, practicing in a mute, like really practicing, it's a false sense of security. Because when you put a cut mute in, it fixes a lot of stuff. Like all of a sudden you don't hear the dirt in your sound. And you go, oh man, I'm making a great sound. That sounds good. And you practice, then you open up. Because I do that here sometime. If it's early, I'll put a mute in and I'll I'll just start that way so I don't disturb my wife. And then I'll open up and then I realize, oh, that's just a bunch of garbage in my sound. Then I have to practice <laughs> some more to get rid of that again. Because it, when you put a mute in, that resistance, you know, your aperture reacts differently, you know. And so you have to change all that and kind of find that sweet spot again. So I would agree that it can be more do more damage than good. Uh, but it, like you know, for getting something together real quickly, like like Tina said, you know, I think it's it's okay for that. Wayne, and you know what's no. you know what's great too? They, they use the, the the only the, the lead pipe that exactly. lab yeah. sends. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. medicine. It's what's medicine that? For the can you sound. can you explain? I don't I don't. Can you to a horn player? Can you show us? Yeah, like hold on one second. Ah, okay. I I adapted this. Okay. It's okay. We, uh, we got it. Our, I, oh. I adapted this. <laughs> well, he has I, the pro I, model. <laughs> no, the, this this is the, just the set of valve and a, a regular lead pipe. You know, a normal okay. lead pipe. And, and then I, I I put the, the 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 mouthpiece there. Okay. But you can do it with a normal trumpet, yeah. And it just focuses you, the sound, you can right, do Wayne? It. Just just put yeah. put it out the 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 tuning slide. And you have a lead pipe that you can any trumpet work for that. Wayne, yeah. when you yeah. joined the chat, not everyone was here. Can you please show us your cut mute? Oh, you mean my? You, oh, you mean my 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 mask? Your mask, my... yeah. <laughs> and, but, and look, actually... look what he does with it. <laughs> I actually use it for a plunger mute, and uh. I got it from some place <laughs> online, a pilot friend of mine. Uh, so anyway, it's kind of a That's fun, good. fun thing. That's cool. <laughs> um, it's actually a pretty darn good plunger mute too. Yeah, it sounds good. It, it works, but it, like when you close it up, it doesn't uh, distort the sound so much. So if you're whying on a high C or something, it doesn't break the sound up as much as uh, my regular plunger. So I like it. I don't, I don't wah on high C's very often, I must say. But if I do, then I will remember remember that tip. Hey guys, the Simon Bolivar Trumpet Ensemble are all watching and say hi to wow. you all. So that's great. I wonder, I wonder how they're all doing, where they all are. They're all sort of scattered around. So I, I hope they're fine. Um, Jeff Strong wants to know if Hawken likes lead pipe work. Lead pipe? Oh, you mean the, like you were just talking about? Yeah. Um... I, I never have to. I mean, I, I don't. Uh, I, I can practice here at home, and then I can practice at the hall. I, it's never, it's never been an issue. Uh, I do like mouthpiece work um, quite a lot. Uh, I spend a lot, a lot of time doing that. I completely agree on the mute things you were saying before. So if it's, if it's to to be to do something else than that, then right. I'm sure it's a very good idea. Yeah. Sergei, what do you think? Um, I have this luxury to practice at home. Oh, great. So I don't disturb uh, neighbors and uh, I can even play at night. So I'm very lucky. What, what do your family say to that? <laughs> uh, well, let's say my father hopes that I practice enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> my neighbors were... Uh... I was asking them if I was too loud, you know, I didn't want to bother them. And they said, no, it's not the volume. It's more the intonation that bothers us. But <laughs> <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil Smith, where are you practicing right now? I have a little bedroom up in my house. Uh, it's got a nice uh, peak ceiling in it. So that's my practice room. Yeah, and you can just let rip. You let it go, and as far as as far as practice, because I did practice late at night. I would often come home after a concert and then uh, be upstairs practicing. And the kids and the family—that's just normal noise in the house. It's when you didn't practice that's when they'd wake up. <laughs> it's like the white noise machines, yeah, that yeah. babies have when they when they sleep. You were the practice noise. Yeah, <laughs> just part of the sounds of the house. 
You, you wonder what you do to your you wonder what you do to your kids when they start singing the stamp warm ups. You know you. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter, okay. my daughter could, my daughter knew Molly Five at uh, age six months, I think she was. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm really sorry that Thomas Ganch can't can't join us. He was supposed to join us. He had his Ganch horn already, and I actually did a test with him earlier on, where all his kids were on, and we I could see them all. His, they've done a great family video. I don't know if you saw it um, of all of them playing together. It was very sweet. Um, but he can't get on the chat. So Thomas, I'm so sorry. We would have oh, loved bummer. to see you. Yeah, bummer. He's he's in Austria and some like miles away from anywhere in some mountain hut. <laughs> so um, he was going to go around and look for look for reception, but unfortunately he didn't. But he's watching. So yeah. So lots of love, Thomas. Sorry to miss you guys. Sorry, that's such a shame. Oh, um, who do you guys all know, Thomas? You've all met him before. No. Um, I remember I when him, Chris yeah. when I. When I said to you, Chris, um, Thomas is coming on the chat, you're like, oh man, I feel a hangover coming on. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Los Angeles here uh, about a year ago and we were doing a recording session for this, uh, this TV show called The Wiz Live. And uh, Jerry Hay, a great arranger, trumpet player had done the charts and it was Chuck Finley and Gary Grant and I, but <clears throat> the brass group was in town. So Thomas came to the session, Jerry invited him to the session and he wrote him a fourth trumpet part to play in our section with us. And it was this ferocious, really hard thing. And, and we're, you know, it's, you know, it was loud, you know, it's Gary and Chuck and myself were cranking, you know, and, and we played like four bars and he looked over and goes, you guys play so fucking loud. <laughs> What's your mouth? What's your mouth? I know I said a bad word there. I'm sorry. I said, I said mouth. <laughs> but anyway, well, he was Diddy mouse, Diddy mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so Wayne, who have you met before and who haven't you met before here? Uh, I haven't met Phil yet, but I know him through a, a lot of mutual friends. I've met Phil Smith before and I've met Sergey and Chris and I have worked together several times together now. And yeah, I don't know. You guys are, you've got a big project. Are you allowed to talk about that project or are you not allowed to talk about that project? It, it's a project that's a, uh, it's a movie that was done a long time ago uh, about rival gangs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's being redone by uh by, we can't uh, mention any names but wasn't it a great uh, musical <clears throat> yeah, and it might have been a musical uh, in uh in steven's anyway but it's all over the internet but steven spielberg is the director and john williams and uh david newman are the music supervisor and uh, it's it's quite a uh I've played this same music with Phil Smith here before, actually, yep. as well, uh, at every Super Hall. Yep. And, uh, and I've got to do it with Chris a couple of times, and now we're recording the music for the movie together. And and we're supposed to be doing it like last week, weren't we, Chris? And for Yeah, the, last week uh, we were supposed to we be We were great. supposed to be together last week doing another one, but unfortunately yeah. this uh, took us out of the game for a minute. How how are they going to do that if this goes on for ages? Are they going to sort of do like what everyone else is doing, like on a cappella, and everybody play their part? Or I, I don't think we can do that with this. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think it's a, uh, it's a big production. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of a big production. Yeah, we had the recording? Obama, we had the Obamas at one of our recording sessions. Oh, cool! We, we had an audition, and I mean, a, an audience, and we had all these these dignitaries, and it was a uh, was really really exciting, you know, and. Uh, quite a moment for for all of us and yeah Barack we miss great, him Barack well we do in europe anyway. sharp, but yours is better i think sorry What's that? barack had a great high f sharp but i think yours is better yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah the, i mean this music I, I won't say what it is but it's 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 pretty it was very difficult <laughs> um I, we're not going to say what it is but everybody knows that famous trumpet lick you know the lenny conducting the um i mean i'm not giving away to but you know the one that goes yeah, da, 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 da. that's you wayne is it uh possibly <laughs> yes and, yeah chris and i the way the way it worked uh the show the the title of the show rhymes with a uh, east side connection <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it that. Uh, any, anyway, uh, Chris and I, when I, I was brought in to, to play, and, and Chris and I kind of split up the uh, first book because it's a two-person job, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, I played, you know, uh, a lot of it, and he plays a lot of it. And, and uh, I always made sure he played the things that I wasn't going to sound good on. And <laughs> a lot of really... 
there was some really soft things that we're playing and we'd go through and I'd start playing. What am I thinking about? Here you play this. Let me, I'm going to go get coffee or something, you know. Wayne, didn't you, when we did it, didn't you tell me that that's the way it was actually recorded the first time? It was because the, the, the lead trumpet player on the movie was Yuan Racy, uh, except for on a couple of the commercial things, which uh, the Mambo scene, oops, I just said it what it was. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> Mambo number five. It's not the other one. No, it's uh, uh, <clears throat> the Mambo scene and the blue, there's a blues, uh, like big band scene. And Pete Condoli, Peter Condoli, Connie Condoli's brother played lead on those things and Yuan played in the section. So they were separate sessions. So when they put the music together for the movie to be performed live to the picture, uh, everything was combined and, and transcribed into one because they don't even have the original music. So it's all transcribed. And it's really pretty impossible for one person to play all this with any kind of elegance because you're you're playing all this high stuff and you're beat up and then the next entrance is a pianissimo thing, you know, and so having, two people do it. When I did it with Phil, we got together ahead of time to, to discuss the book, how we'd split it up. And, and Phil says, oh, you just play everything. And I go, no, that, that's not, that doesn't really work like that. And, and, uh, and it was really, it was really, Phil, yeah, you don't know this man, but that moment for me getting to sit next to you, just like it was when I got to do it with Chris, man, was was like one of those things. And if, if you don't mind me taking up a little bit of time, I want to tell a funny Phil Smith story because there's one moment in this music where there's a little lick that goes, Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 bum. And it goes to a written high C on the B flat trumpet. And Phil, the way I described it, man, he like threw a lasso of sound over the entire orchestra and then, then reeled the whole orchestra into his tone. And I said to him, I said, you can't teach what you just did. And he said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, just the way you played that. It gives me goosebumps when I think about it. And so I told... Uh, I told this same story to Tom Hooten with the LA Philharmonic when I played it with him. And I was telling him about Phil and how he played this thing. And it's one of the most musical things I'd ever heard. And just simple little thing, but just, and, uh, and so, you know, of course, when you say that to somebody, it's going to be a challenge to them. So, so Tom played it and he played it beautiful, you know, and he goes, well, what do you think? I go, ah, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's that hard, do you reckon you can Very see hard. if you can get another 10 trumpet players on it? Because I reckon we could all do with the work in a few months' time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we could juice you. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Double Sarah. all the parts and get all these Sarah. guys in. That'd be great. Yeah. Sarah, you, have, you have more questions? I have some more questions. Um, well, I have a question from Matthias from Gunther, he wants to know how you managed to change from B flat to C to piccolo so quickly in a concert. Oh, I, I try to practice every day on each instrument. And if one instrument doesn't work, I take the next one. So I have all instruments every day. <laughs> so I, I think it's a, it's a good idea to be flexible and uh, even the, the music helps. Uh, to change all, all the different sounds, uh, to have a good feeling and, and not to fix on one instrument. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, especially like if you're doing that sort of movie, you don't you don't know what's if you I was talking to some of the movie horn players, you never know what's going to come. You never know what you could sit down. You don't know what you got. I mean, like like Hawken, when you're working up a big concerto or a Sege or, you know, a new one, then you, you got time to work it all out. And, and it's still hideous, hideously difficult, but the the movie world, mm, that's that's hard work. We never see the music in advance. Well, with modern technology, a little bit more now, sometimes they'll put the parts on Dropbox and I'll look at them on my phone. Oh, this is nothing, nothing, nothing. But every once in a while I see something and I will practice it, you know, with my fingers or whatever, you know, just so when I get there, I, but most of the time in the old days, you show up for work and 10 o'clock, we start recording, you know, and, and you oh, yeah. do it and you move on to the next queue and you never see that music again. Yeah. I love <laughs> the spontaneity of it, spontaneity of it though, Wayne. I mean, I, I think, I think I just love, love turning up and just the red light goes on and play. I think it gives you less time to think about it. I think that's just, a, I think it's, there's something really liberating about working like that, actually. I completely agree. You know, my, uh, my dear friend, Warren Looning, who is a great trumpet player in this town, when he would never look and look at the music, he would never open the book. He'd have his coffee, he'd be warming up, and he wouldn't open the music up until the downbeat, till the red light was on. He goes, ah, it's just going to scare you. You don't want to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can do about it by then anyway. 
Yeah, yeah, you're, I mean, <clears throat> another 10 minutes of practice, practicing is not going to help, you know, so. That's how, that's how I feel about the last <laughs> oh, movement of Mahler 7. I lost the sound. Oh, you lost the sound? Are you back? I'm back, back, yeah, yeah. You're back, yeah, you're yeah, back, yeah. you're good. Good, good. Um, we don't want to lose you, Arturo. We got to give you, you if no, people no, want to no. I... Oh. The last couple of things, I, I, the, the last couple of things I missed it, but it's back now. It's back. It's back now. That's that's that's. We're gonna we, we're gonna be able to share this afterwards. With, of course you are. Recording. I'm gonna. Of course you yeah. are. And you can also look in the links and see. There's so many questions coming in. I feel a bit bad because I literally cannot get to all your questions because there's so many of us, and I'm so happy to see them. Basically, tonight was about us all meeting up and just sort of saying hi to you um, out there in the world and and trying to make us all feel connected for an hour. And I know everyone has to go and teach. We've been going on for almost an hour. It's incredible. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it. Um, um, Let's but... do it next Wednesday again. Yeah, I, yeah you're more than <laughs> <Next> welcome. <Wednesday. laughs> Regular party. I, I like that idea. Yeah, I, I love it. The only person... <laughs> The only person I'm not sure might not like it is is Tim. Uh, Tim, we've got to say a big thank you to handsome Tim down here. Are you uh, coming back in? There you are, Tim. Is. Because he got up at four in the morning in Melbourne. Pretty oh early. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's early. That is early. Thanks, Tim. Well, that is really... And now, and now we want to do it all again, because the thing is, you know, there's so many great questions that are coming in from everyone. I mean, it, it is it is a question, but we can't get to we literally can't get them to all. If anyone wants to read the chat and, and answer any of them, I mean, we'd be we'd be honored. Um, but uh, but but basically everyone is just so happy to see all their trumpet heroes on screen. And I, I know I am. So th I mean, thank you so much for taking the time. Can and I, I add I, something? I, yes, Can please. I add something? my suggestion is please don't pay too much attention to all the negativity and the bad news on the media whatever concentrate in the sunny side of the street and use your time in something productive like practicing reading enjoy your family enjoy your dog enjoy your time at home relaxing you don't have to go in the airport you don't have to do so many things you don't have to be stressed about a concert or something but don't repeat all those bad news about the virus and all the things because that creates a lot of bad feeling in your head and in your soul. And then that, that don't, doesn't help at all. That's my recommendation, you know, you know, to yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. I could, I agree with that. Just be everybody, just, you know, everybody be smart about what we're doing and do the right thing and live our lives, you know, best we can. But what about what about for students that are really struggling with the motivation to keep practicing? And I love Garbo's idea about about, you know, the recording, um, you know, and, and the recording yourself and, and then sending that to a teacher rather than a live lesson. I mean, I don't know um, how, how many uh, you, you can't hear everybody, but I mean, recording yourself and teaching yourself, I guess. What do you guys think about that? Good. Great. Uh, get a beautiful headphone set. And like then those. buy as many music as you could and listen to good music all the time. Yeah. Because that that's a bound for your soul. You know, listen yeah. to good music, good music. Is is the music a good music don't inspire you? I'm sorry. Go and do something else because the music is such an incredible and unique inspiration. And we must get motivated with that. If you don't feel that thing, I'm so sorry. You're never going to make it. I'm sorry. You're never going to make it. You have to feel, you have to hear some good music and say, wow, can I imitate that? Clark Terry used to say, imitate, create. No, no, I'm sorry. Imitate, emulate, create. That's the, the three yeah. steps that I hear for. And it's, a, it's, it's beautiful. It's a genius uh, mentality. You know, we started imitating our heroes and the people who you admire and respect, you know, you, you imitate that. And then when you feel a little more, uh, you know, confidence or whatever, you start to emulate your own heroes. And in the end, you feel ready to start creating and Amen. producing your, 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 your thing. Your, that, that was a plot Terry told me many years ago. And I, and I always remember that, always remember that, always. Yep. Yeah. And also remember to, to listen to all types. I mean, I'm sure you all agree. All types of music, all genres. And please don't only listen to trumpet players. 
What? <laughs> Listen to That's everything boring, else. Dude. That's boring. It's, uh, boring. it's, <laughs> it's so boring. I like you. No, but there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's so many amazing things to get inspired by and all instruments, singers, whatever, all genres. There's so much great music out there. And this have you really heard Tina sing? Too. Have you heard Tina sing? She's a really mean singer, I tell you. That's, well, thank really you, sorry. No, I no, love it. Listen, listen to Rachmaninoff Piano Concerto number two to start with. That's my biggest recommendation. Rachmaninoff Piano Concerto number two. If you don't get inspired by that, <laughs> bye bye. I think, Sergei, you know, I, Sergei, uh, what what inspires you? I listen to a lot of jazz, actually. Of course, nice. whoa, whoa. I, mean, I have many jazz records, and yeah, just get inspiration where you can. Yeah, Phil, you I interrupted you. Sorry, Phil I, Smith. I was just going to say it's not just the students who are struggling, perhaps, with motivation. It's all of us. I, I doubt mm -hmm. that there's anyone on this screen right now who hasn't felt a little unmotivated. And even for me, just being in this presence makes me want to go upstairs and practice right now because I'm thinking, what am I doing here? And, <laughs> and oh that's no! Just, that's, you know, so we all need that motivation. And we all need to be encouraged. And Arturo is absolutely right. It, the, 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 and, and, and Tina as well, just the imagination you get from listening. Listen, go copy. Listen, go copy. I remember, I remember watching a very good documentary uh, about Heifetz. And it was at the end of his life and he was not doing many concerts anymore. And he would still get up in the morning, you know, shave, dress, and it would be him and his violin. It was, and that, I found such a beautiful connection between a human being and the instrument. That, that inspired me a lot. Yeah. And should be a part of you. We have a yes. great chance this time to make a reset. We have no pressure with any concerts or uh, uh, auditions or so. So perhaps it's a great chance to come down to think of your basics, to sleep well, to make sports, and to, um, uh, I think for me, it's a great chance um, to do all things I want to do. And I have time now for this and not yeah. uh, be in, in pressure. And uh, every trumpet player should uh, come down. Yeah, it's a good idea. There'll be, there'll be lots and lots and lots, there'll be lots and lots and lots of great trumpet players because everybody has much more time to play. <laughs> <laughs> That's no good for the business. That's no good for the business. <laughs> 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 You're gonna have more competition. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, Let's I'll see. let you go. I, you, you've given us an hour of your time. I'm so honored. Chris, thank you so much for helping me set this up because I didn't have everybody's con 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 contacts and you got, you got way and fill into the chat and thank you so much for that and to all of you to, to all of you who I haven't met before you know like like Wayne Sergey it's just so amazing and Phil as well hadn't met you before it's such an honor um, as a as a as a tiny horn player I mean I brought my this is the closest I could get to a trumpet player <laughs> Orkin, I was remembering your horn challenge remember yeah yes. Chris, keep the cat because what we have to do is we do at, on the horn hangouts, we do a selfie every night. Everyone knows what they're going to do. We're going to get everyone's got to get their camera ready and they're going to take a selfie of themselves with all of us because I mean, to get a selfie with all you guys, it's really amazing. So um, you guys ready for ready for the horn hangout? Selfie? Everybody, have you got trumpets? Have you got what, what have you got? Anything? Come on, Phil, you need your arsenal cup in there. That's right. Okay, everyone's got their trumpets. Why didn't you play anything? I don't have a mouthpiece, but that's fine. Oh, that's a, that's a good reason. Okay. <laughs> okay, where's the cat? Where's the cat? Oh, she did. She took off. Oh, okay. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Okay, ready? Ready, Phil? Arsenal Cup, ready? One, two, three, selfie time. Are you guys getting this there? I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> this just went crazy so crazy that, 
<laughs> yeah, it's just oh, fantastic. <laughs> thank you all for time. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank, thank you for Sarah, your thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for joining me. Thank you, handsome Tim. You can sign up. We're going offline now. Thank you, Stuart. The Horn Hangouts is back at 3 o'clock tomorrow, Berlin time, 9 a.m., New York time, with horns again, with French horns. And um, we'll see you then. And uh, thank you for joining. Guys and girl, guys and gal, you're all amazing. Thank you so much. Love God you bless. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Bye.